In the next video, we're going to use a very powerful idea from algebra called the principle of substitution. This is what the principle of substitution says. I can always replace an expression by another expression that's equal to it without changing its value. Now, we've been actually doing that all along. For example, when we said evaluate 2x plus y when x is 3 and y is 2, when we replace the x with 3 and the y with 2, we're using the principle of substitution. And then we just work out the arithmetic, of course, and this is 8. But it's not just numbers that we can do this with. If y is 4x plus 1, we can say, what is 2y in terms of x? Just like up here, we took out the x and replaced it with a 3, and took out the y and replaced it with a 2. Here we can take out the y and replace it with 4x plus 1. So we have the 2 still, but instead of y, we'll have 4x plus 1. And now we can stop here. This is a perfectly good answer to the question. Or we could simplify by distributing, and we get 8x plus 2. Let's make sure that that really works. Right, let's say we want to, to try, what if x is 7? Then y is 4 times 7 plus 1. So that's 28 plus 1 is 29. And then 2y is 2 times 29 is 58. On the other hand, plugging directly into our answer, 8x plus 2 is 8 times 7 plus 2. That's 56 plus 2 is 58. So that really worked, right? We get the same result by finding out y first and plugging it into 2y, or by just plugging x directly into our result. And this is what the principle of substitution says. It says if I have two expressions that I know are equal, I can take one away and replace it with the other one. 